Look, I'm alive. Blah, 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 blah. All right, guys. So I gotta go to Bullhead, 99 cent store, cause our store is closed. Yeesh. So let's do this. Head beams off. High beams. I mean, head beams. High beam off. Let's go. Baroom. Saturday. Saturday. Well, I was going to sing the song that it dawned on me. Yeah. Oh, I see a thumbs up. And someone is there. So who is there? DJ Zombie. Scoobs. Uh, Leslie. Um, crab Cake. Um, CTN. The Boy Blue. Who is it? Now there's two people. But now it takes a half hour to get to the 99 cent store, guys. In another state, how's that? Some people don't realize you have to when there's nothing here. So we have to go there. I can go to Fort Mojave, but I need the stuff from the 99 cent store. If you guys are wondering, remember that Arnold's promo, Arnold's Palmer tea that I drink? Well, that Arnold's Palmer drink, it's an iced tea with lemonade. Well, we can get Snapple, the boxes for a buck, and two of them make a two liter drink. Well, the second one, which gives you a two liter drink, is simple. In the box, you get six, so you get enough for three. And that's usually one day, morning, afternoon, and evening, and it does real good. Okay, but, and this is but, I got to drive a half hour to get it. Now, I don't see people commenting, so let's find out. Nope, no one is talking. Oh, well. under the train bridge and we'll head there we go hey hunter who is this um, you guys use caps please cap lock hello Eric James I told you you were not blocked period you were not blocked I keep telling you that I see hi I see hi I see hi three times mr. James yeah uh, you guys, please put it in capital letters. Put your cap lock on so I can see you guys. Okay, go under the bridge. The train bridge. Uh, no, actually... He messages me on Facebook and stuff, y'all, but it's hard to do anything. Oh, Hold on. Look at these idiots in front of me. That thing would never make it on there. So what happened is this morning, this thing pulled in and said, oops, we can't go there. Tommy flipped out last night. How'd he flip out? These people, they come down this road thinking they can get through, and it tells you only eight foot, but they don't pay attention, guys. They don't pay attention. If that thing didn't pay attention, it would have been uh, big problems. Let me turn this around. I don't watch anybody named John. I'll talk to Tommy today a little bit. 
I'll talk. I'll call him up and speak to him, see what's going on. Bob is doing great. His leg is almost completely healed, and I'll be glad when it is. If Tommy flipped out, there's a reason. Yeah, Bob's at my house again. His brother threw him out. Told him to get out of here. His brother didn't care. And then uh, ranting Jay, Jay said, I'll hold on some money for you when you give it to me, and I won't, pay, I won't use it. Well, Jay, the na same night that Bob came in, all right, I was spending the night there, and then I left. All right, so when I left and went back home, all right, Jay decided while Bob was sleeping, while Bob was sleeping in the room that he told me to sleep in, just came in and started talking and talking and would not shut up. He just wouldn't leave. It's my house, I'll do what I want. That's why I did not stay there. He told me he would hold the money for me. Okay, Jay is always looking for money, guys. Always. And here's the problem. His parents bought him the house. Ranching Jay's parents bought him the house. Why? They didn't want him being there because he gets a nut check. A nut check. So, yeah. Ranting Jay is a nut. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, do you want to be blocked? That simple. Idiot. That big vehicle, guys, it wouldn't pull all the ways over. J is nuts. Has nothing to do with a BJ. You get it? That's how you get blocked. His parents threw him out, gave him a house, and you stay there. Jay even has kids. His kids don't even want to be around him. How's that, guys? The truth. His kids don't. I've almost beat the hell up. Yeah, but you put the word BJ. Wanted a BJ. What does that have to do with anything? you missed it, the DMV turned down my plate for my super marijuana. And it didn't even look like that. They turned it down because it said it looked like super spermio. I mean, I'm not kidding, spermio. And we don't know until April when they give me my paperwork. When they give me my paperwork, that's when we find out. And then if I'm elected, I'm going hog wild on those assholes. Council member my ass, voting shit down, voting things down. Well, people put money into it and they lose it. You don't care about that. You guys would get the money, it doesn't matter. People invest in things and our government always overturn things. So if they say mar recreational marijuana is not legal and they come in, oh well. People know the chances. But in that short time, they're going to enjoy what they can do. Okay, time to raise that window. A little bit too nippy, guys. A little bit too nippy. Ugh. So, yeah, Jay, he tried to say, well, you can stay here for a while. And you just give me the money and I'll hold on to it. I said, Jay, you can't hold on to money. You never can. You're always looking for money and spend it. Oh, no, I would never spend your money. I said, Jay, you're lying to me right now. You would spend my money. We're friends. I said, but you're going to try to fuck me over. I'm not giving you money. I don't believe in Jay's bullshit.
And um, so then the police were called. The police had to come there. While they're there, so Bob can take his stuff out. But while Bob took his stuff out, guys, Jay went into Bob's personal stuff he has in his room and took a lot of shit out of it. He took a lot of shit. Jay was helping Bob's brother, right? And started stealing stuff from the house. Okay? Bob's brother got mad at me. Why? He said, because Ken is stealing. And he goes, Ken hasn't stolen anything. And of course I haven't. No offense, he doesn't want to have anything I want. Would you steal something from your friend's brother if you're friends with him? I wouldn't. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering, guys, uh, we are in Arizona. We went over that bridge. But the whole thing is, it's BS. Uh, I showed Bob's brother. I said, are you missing shovels? He goes, yeah, Jay has them. He borrowed them on uh, October and never brought them back. So, and then I told him all the things he borrowed. So I gave him the list, and he went up to Jay. He goes, Jay, I need my shovels you borrowed in October. Well, I don't have them. You have the shovels. We want them back, or the cops are coming to your house. Then he said, Jay, I want my metal bong. He has this big old metal bong, okay? The metal one I used in one of my videos. And he goes, I want that back. I don't have that. And I, he goes, yes, you do. So I went down the list. You want the tools. Apparently, you have Ken's shovel, too. And why would you need so many shovels? I don't have that. Yeah, you do. It's on your back porch right now leaning against your thing. He knew exactly where everything was. So he goes, either I come down and get it, or I send the cops down to your house while I'm sitting out front so you cannot leave the house with our equipment. He stole Bob's brother's guitar. How's that? He stole his guitar. He stole albums. He stole all kinds of shit, people. I mean, when he borrowed my shovel, I said, fine. That was in April. I said, need my shovel. I don't have it. I said, Jay, you just borrowed it last month. No, I didn't. I said, Jay, I was recording a video when you came in. Hey, Ken, can I borrow your shovel? Make sure I get it back. Oh, you'll get it back. Is that you? Yeah. You still have my shovel? You can't say you don't have it, because I know you do. Ranting Jay is a thief. His brother ended up with a list of 40 things that Jay took from the house that he was blaming me. And the reason I knew he was blaming me Bob told me. Hey, Leslie, how's it going? No, Bob is just, um, he told me what was going on, and I, I decided to go over there. So said, we need to talk, and I sat down, and I told him everything. I said, I didn't touch anything that was not yours. I lived in a room that technically had no power. I had to use it from another room. What? Jay steal the little chair. What little chair? What little chair? Gets me, he doesn't have to steal. I give him all kinds of shit that I can't use. I had that nice glass desk table. Remember that? Uh, he goes, then I gave Bob my AC unit that was for my room, guys. He's doing fine, guys. Yatsi is doing fine. He was until I realized, and I didn't realize later until he was stealing shit. Then he tried to steal Bob's money, and he was supposed to be staying with Bob. Uh, with uh, Jay. Bob was supposed to be staying with Jay. How was that? And then he tries to kick you out because he wants to talk all night, go into your room, unlock the door, and just babble on. Going, bah, 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 bah. And he goes, Jay, I'm trying to sleep. 
that, that. Jay, get out of my room. It's my house. I'll do what I want. You understand how that works, people? Then they had to call the police so he can get his own stuff out. But while before they called the police and get it, Jay went through all Bob's stuff while he was gone, calling the police and getting his brother. Guess what? He stole everything he could get his hands on. So that's why I told Jay, if I see him, I will beat the living shit out of him. Why will I do that? For what he did. Now, I never touched Jay when he was at Bob's house, but Bob told him to stay away from me at times because he was told, stay away from Ken. He pays rent, leave him alone, you do not live here. But every single time, Jay put his mail there. I said, Jay, why are you putting your mail there? Well, Jay has his Trans M. Ranching Jay has his Trans Am, yes. He's also got a Jaguar that has a Chevy and motor in it. Alright? But here's the problem. His cars are always dying. I've had to go up to the mountain several times and jump him because his battery went dead. His battery went dead. And supposedly he took it in for repairs. I was constantly taking him in to go do stuff. One time he goes... When I had the uh, Mighty Death Pop, my van, my G20 Chevy, I mentioned that it needs an oil change. I'll do it for you. I said, no, Jay, I'll take care of it. Well, guess what? I had 20 bucks on my table. He took the 20, not me telling him to. He went and bought oil, which only cost at that time 10 bucks, right? And he had a 20. So then he went to my car while I was sleeping and change the oil. Everyone goes, oh, that's a great thing. I never asked him to because I had an appointment for professionals to do it and change the oil filter and the whole thing would cost 20 bucks. I don't know what you keep saying, a little chair. You keep saying this and I don't know what you mean. On your side, you know a little chair. I do not. Okay, I don't know who that person is. That Michael person, please put it in cap. Put your cap lock on so I can see what you're saying. I need the cap lock on. I'm driving. My face is part of, far away and everything. So you get, get it? Please put the cap lock on and type. So they're going to change the oil filter and the oil. So Jay changed my oil. He probably changed the oil. Yeah, he didn't change the filter. And I didn't tell him to. So technically, he came in my room while I was gone. With me and Bob, we went to Denny's like we always do. Came back, and late at night, he changed the oil. Why do I know this? There's oil all over the driveway. And Bob's brother tried to blame me for that. No, he changed it. He gave me the receipt. There was oil all over the driveway. Come on, get over, you dick. You ever drive behind somebody who has a chitty chitty bang bang? In other words, it's amazing, it still runs. What's that? Um, I saw... Put up that parody song. Well, thank you. I'm still working on the music. I have some people that are trying to... A lot of people out for Saturday. When I get done from doing this, guys, getting the tea and stuff, uh, Jason, yeah, I know what it is, but no. I never cared for those Mazda Miata Bolognese. Never cared for them one bit. 
come on. People keep slowing down people for no reason. One guy was stopped back there, right there. Why? Because he was following somebody who went to the turn lane and he wanted to go. But you cannot stop somewhere. But some people said they would help me and I gave them, them what I have, you know, unless, you know, they come, what is it, we, get, we meet together and talk. I would fit in a Mazda Miata. So whoever said that, let me see. Yes, I would fit in that, so don't even. When you sit there and think that I don't fit into certain cars, if I could fit into a PT Cruiser, a Dodge Colt, or better yet, a Yugo, I can fit. Because I was way bigger then, and I still fit. So don't tell me I don't fit into vehicles, because you don't know. You make the assumption. And what's the old thing? You make an ass when you assume. Unless you know, don't assume. Oh, here's one. Remember my friend Lucy who lived across the street? Jay borrowed his charger, right? And tried to tell me that Lucy gave it to him. Lucy said, I borrowed it. He never brought it back. I said, tell him. Doesn't matter how tall you are. Yes, I was in the demolition derby. Quite a few times back in the old days, way old days before YouTube. And I was also in figure eight. Now they don't have windshields. The gas tanks are not full gas tanks. They're like temporary small ones. Yeah, don't put your hands outside the vehicle. That's number one. Number two, Never hit nose first, always hit back end first. Always hit back end first. Never hit nose first. You would take out your motor and you need to protect the front end of your car. And always watch, because people are gonna try to hit the motor in the car. What's this? Oh. got to come all the ways out here guys this right now it's almost 25 minutes just come out here to go shopping I like Korean food yes I can't do figure skating you guys know that my ankles messed up remember I have that real messed up ankle
All right, guys, we're here. I'll talk to you on the way back. It was about almost 26 minutes. Talk to you later. Be well. Take care. Never trust Ranting Jay. I was right the first time, and I always will stay that way. Talk to you guys later. Peace.